called a girlfriend experience um, where they're able to take you home and they're able to keep you for the weekend um, and have you wake up next to them is the girlfriend experience. Um, and when I went with this man for a weekend, it was culture shock. It was the smells were different. The buildings were different. Everybody talked different. Um, I didn't understand anybody. I was the only black girl. So when it comes to Americans and when it comes to being black, it definitely was the kicker because they don't have any respect for you. Uh, and especially being a prostitute, they didn't have any respect at all. Um, so some men like to have sex with you with their feet, um, put you on leashes, make you lick the floor, or lick their feet, um, piss on you, shit on you, things like that. When I figured that out, I was like, I really, I'm, I was praying, please God, let me get back to California. And I promise I will be a freaking angel for this man because I don't want to end up staying here. Um, when we came back, uh, my pimp told me I was going back out there before a week. The money that was exchanged is what when I knew it was time to make a decision because uh, I knew I wasn't coming back. And I, I knew that he promised that he would bring me back, but there was money counters that came out. Um, there was a huge meeting that he had to have. Uh, there was paperwork. And that's when I realized I have to do something because they're going to kill me. Um, and in the worst way. And he told me, you're just going to leave for a week. And I'm like, there's no way. So um, I got out of school. I was told to go to the park in Fontana and sit on the swings. I had bright red hair. And this is what saved my life because um, I was about to get branded. I was about to um, change my complete look to go to Russia um, because that's what my pimp was telling me to do. So I, I braided my hair and I changed it. It was blood, fire engine, red. And it was so bright that it was so noticeable anywhere I went and I had brushed it out. So it's frizzy and crazy. And I went and sat on the swings and I called my mom and my grandma at the time. And I told her, I love you. I don't know if I'll talk to you again, but I'm about to leave. And she's like, where? And when my grandma heard that in my voice, she rushed to the park. She